Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Sunday, July 23rd, 2023. Today I'm heading over to Canyon City to Royal Gorge Bridge Park, possibly a gondola, sky ride. Not really sure all they have there, but I'm gonna find out. Taking my mom, my dad, my sister, and my sister's husband. We're all going, five of us are going to the gorge. And I'm inviting you to join me, shall you? I made the commute to Canyon City. Got to see up on the side of the mountain over there. Got this building here as well. Getting a little fuel here at this gas station. $3.89 a gallon. That's kind of the standard around here. Notice the last few days. Got a little piping hot caffeinated beverage here. Green Mountain Coffee Roasters from the gas station. Not really sure how the day is going to progress. Just kind of depends on what myself and my family end up seeing, what they choose to, to do. But we do want to do the gondola. There's also a train here, the Royal Gorge Route Train, Santa Fe Railroad Station right over there. The heads up that way, six, seven, eight miles up to the gorge. I think we're going to drive up and then do the pedestrian bridge and then also do the the gondolas, depending on how busy it is. It is the it is the weekend, but should be able to to get on them. See what happens. All right, I've parked over here to admissions, the plaza, the bridge, the shops, and the attraction. Over off in the distance, so they have a sky swing as well over there. A little bit of a walk, but that's the main information center and gift shop. Now this is not the same railroad that I saw earlier over by the gas station. This is like a miniature railroad. It looks to be kind of empty and abandoned now that runs along parallel along this bridge heading up to the information station. You can still see the you can still see the tracks here as they merge into what is now the sidewalk. At first I thought those were like deer sculptures. They are real the deer. Blind. Well the what wait a second the one's not moving though. Yes he's drinking. Oh there you go yeah. There's a deer, mama deer and they're young. Oh, there's more over here? Where's the, I don't see them. All right, there's like a dozen of them. A couple longhorn. I guess, maybe they're not, are they deer or ram? I think they're deer. Like mountain goats? Big Thunder Mountain style? <laughs> oh, maybe, I don't know. Best removal. Now parking through here is pretty congested. But right in the parking area, one of the couple parking areas, is old Rio Grande Railroad. Four ninety nine. Helicopter tour going by, and a very long bridge over the gorge down there. Now hoofing it back up the side of this parking lot. Have to keep reminding myself that this is some serious elevation. So what gets you a little winded on sea level is going to get you winded quicker when you're going up the side of a very steep incline. So, gotta pace yourself when in the Rocky Mountains. Something I gotta keep reminding myself because I keep forgetting sometimes. Now, these are the prices to either take the gondola and or walk across the bridge. $35 for adults. And if you wanna do the zip line sky coaster, it's additional. So we're just gonna do the general mission, $35 for five adults and take the gondola over and then probably walk back. And you can do as many gondola rides as you so choose. So it's not like a one, way thing you take it both ways one way you can ride it you know the, the course of the operating hours $35 per person these are the gondolas here very reminiscent of the Anakista gondolas that they have in Gatlinburg so this is way higher above ground level that dog's going on there that pooch is gonna look at that pooch isn't scared of heights the Royal Gorge Bridge and Park America's Bridge come across got a helicopter tour going by over there too No alcoholic beverages on the gondola. Yeah. Anakisa calls theirs a chandala. This is called a gondola. I'm familiar with the ride. Ask the attendant. Oh, here is the eight people per car or 1,400 pounds per car. The wheel in the sky keeps on turning. I don't know where I'll be tomorrow. It's at the song's house. going 
across and there's three attached so all three are kind of connected they don't send one at a time so i'm gonna step into the sun for a minute you see how there are three connected over there who are waiting in the shade for the next three to come back across and it's maybe it's not nothing too intense but once you get once you get the height oh yeah now it's taking off Ooh. It's gonna go up over the hill and then down. Oh, that's going pretty briskly. It's, it's kind of teetering down a little bit. Oh, here come a couple zip liners coming in. Zip liners incoming at a fast, rapid pace. One. Ooh. And two. Like it's set up when one launches, the other one la launches. So at the halfway point, you'll meet up with the other gondola and be able to wave across at the halfway point. So it's kind of set up, you know, similar to the other systems that run on the same kind of pulleys and mechanisms where they go up and down the side of mountains. This was just going across the gorge. Who's excited? Mom, are you excited? Yeah, you're you're biting your fingernails. <laughs> How many feet is this up off the gorge? 955. 955 feet. You sweating a little bit, Ryan? Uh, no, oh, it's the mister. <laughs> yeah, there's misters up here. Right there. That's a mister. You gonna be able to handle this, Dad? Hope the cable don't break. <laughs> don't even put that in. Don't even put that out there. Hope the cable don't break. <laughs> we'll say that too loud, other, other people might get frightened. So this is it, the three pulling up here. It's interesting how the three are connected like that. It must be like a weight management issue. Because you got three on this end and three on that end. And then this is gonna loop around. Or no, that's actually gonna go back? Or is it gonna loop around? All right, we're moving into the sun now. Might not be on the next bastion of, of carts. Oh, there's a little behind the scenes of the start and reset button. There's the three. We're going to be on the next series of threes. This is run by Leitner Homa. Oh, this must be the control tower right here. I think that beeping means that one's about to launch. Should be on the next one. Yep, it's moving very, very slowly right there. So we'll be on the next set of three. But someone's got their hands against the glass saying, help me. This is very hot too, don't touch that. <laughs> Dad just did you the do the same thing? thing? You put your hands on there? We went over there to take a so selfie hot. and he got his up on the- my arm up on there. <laughs> it's, it's hot. It's like Fletch. Hey! Hey! It's all ball bearings these days. Look at this. Oh, that's got to be us. The Rio Grande train. We're waiting here in line. Right on the side of the cliff. All right, here comes the next three. These are the ones we're going to be boarding on. <laughs> America's Bridge. If the ride stops unexpectedly, remain calm and stay inside the cabin. <laughs> gonna go. Don't jump Where out of the cabin. Where are we going to go besides in the cabin? There's a call box up here, though. Help! We're, we're still in here. Remember us? And this shows not to rock the cabin. It's a Windex on the Windex. <laughs> So I'm fine now, but we haven't got over the cord shot. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys gonna be able to handle this? Sure. <laughs> Piece of cake. It's kinda hot in here. It's kinda warm in here. So this is kinda like the the the, the gondolas they have at uh what do they call it? The Skyliner at Disney where they have the little thing open. Like that with the wind will gust up. All right, it's happening. I can see the worry on both your faces. <laughs> Wait! This is right now. 
Yeah, I'm going to watch this off properly. Quickly. I love this kind of thing. You didn't fall on a raft. I didn't used to. I've gotten used to it over time. Okay, here's the drop. Faith was a daring one. You were the one that was kind of. It took me a while to come into my own. Late swimmer. goes so straight back 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 over the gorge oh my gosh i can't even imagine living there that's so cool there also is ac in here i think it's just wind coming up from the bottom yeah there's a well see there's bears <laughs> see the train tracks hey, there. that is so sick look at the sunroom yeah, that's pretty dope. And there's a uh, river yeah. down here, too. Is that the Arkansas River? That's the Arkansas, right? I believe so. Yeah, we just rode the train. Right? You did the train? Yeah, it was, oh, it was, it was awesome. so cool. Definitely yeah. worth it. Really cool experience, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You're doing that? Yeah. We're doing that and the zip line, Ooh, yeah. Wow. Gutsy. Youth. <laughs> Gutsy youth. Where y'all from? Uh, here. Well. I'm, st I'm stationed in Fort Carson, but uh, oh, there goes California. passing okay. by. What's there like a little bit above us? Let's go high. Must be the way. Down there, river. <laughs> Must be the way. Yeah, there's We've almost made it across. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. Was that someone yelling down there <laughs> from the cliff? <laughs> Help me! <laughs> wow. I want to see a mountain goat climbing the side of this. Like right up there, like the thunder. On our train ride, we saw someone scaling the gorge. It was pretty cool. Someone scaling it? Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, it was like a couple hundred feet up. Didn't be me. This isn't too bad. And you get a little breeze up there. That is so pretty. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm so excited. What did you say about this, Dad? It was what? Gore. Gorgeous. <laughs> you said it too. You both said it. <laughs> nice party. Oh, oh yeah, the zip line's really so... Line. Yeah, mom and dad are taking that back across uh, here. <laughs> right. She lost her hat. No. Oh, oh, she lost no her hat on the zip line. Just, At least she didn't drop her phone. <laughs> oh. Someone down yeah, below has yeah, got a little souvenir. I'm totally holding my phone and recording. <laughs> All right, exiting off. That actually was not as frightening for me as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, that was pretty dang fun. Here's an old bus that they used to bring people up to the top. A short trip to a world wonder right here in Canyon City. And it looks like the bus is open. It's no longer used for transporting people up and down the side, but it is open and accessible for whatever reason. This old bus is right here. And you can kind of like pop out the side of the door and look down into the gorge itself from right here. Two people going down the zip line, my sister and her husband Ryan are waiting in line to go across the zip line and my mom and dad are gonna take the gondola back across. I am gonna walk across the lengthy bridge down this way and get a view into the gorge from above it. That's an interesting little like igloo tent over there. The sunroof on it. Oh, I got some more deer here in this little pasture looking down. So I got to walk down there to the bridge. <laughs> it's just like a whole whole family of them right here grazing and sitting in the shade. They got the right idea to get in the shade because it's hot out here. Current temperature at this moment in Canyon City, 95 degrees and pretty sunny. Place right here called Grill on the Hill where I got a nice salty water to Sonny. Stay hydrated. A place up here called Tommy Knocker Lane. It's a train, it's like a little play area. It's like an old barn themed around the old west. There's a little carousel up there. So I'm turning this way, padding, heading down this dirt path and over to the bridge. Oh, it even looks like there's one of those little orange carts going across the bridge right here to the closest end, and also a non-orange cart going by there. There's a lot of carts out here, but you see that one. So evidently not just a walking bridge, but also the workers can go across the little carts. This is a long bridge. 
It'd be no different than walking across a bridge that goes over like a river, you know, in a populated area. And you have like a walkway next to the traffic, about the same length. You hear people, oh, someone's up on the, the sky ride. That looks smaller than the one at Old Town Kissimmee. Yeah, that's like probably half the size of the one at Old Town Kissimmee. Suspension style. And they have all the state flags lining the side of the bridge as you walk across. Wooden bridge here. There's a little barbecue place over here called Bridge View Barbecue. And then there's the Plaza Theater off to the sides on this side of the gorge. Yeah, this is nice. I like it. Nice little breeze up here too. Here's George Washington. Ooh, oh, that's a little, uh, that right there is, uh, Whatever you do, don't look down. That's not even that high because you can see you haven't even quite gone over the gorge yet. Gets a little shakier when you're from this. Here's a John Deere. Oh, is it like a, a, you can take a little ride across here on this John Deere tractor. There's no one in it, but they'll ride you across the bridge in this John Deere tractor. No one is utilizing this though. Hey, look at this. I do gotta say the creaky board, now this thing's shaking. Something. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking about one of these, one of these pieces of wood buckling. Oh, the, you hear the creakiness of it. Look at this, my gosh. Ooh, ooh, some kayakers down there, some boaters, the train tracks. There's the sky ride that takes you up over the gorge. Wow. Really a lot of driving traffic. It's the only way to get from one side to the other is this bridge. There's also a vehicle bridge. So here's the state flag for Nevada there. Another orange cart. Really is something else. Looking down, down, way down there to the roaring waters. thing beside the side is this little metal mesh. Zoom in on it a little bit. Yes, I agree with that. There it is right there. That's what we were on a little bit earlier. There's a little brand here on the ground where they have burned this in there where it says Royal Gorge Bridge and Park established 1929. Came out here and meshed the, the brand in there with the fire and the heat just like they would with cattle. On the side, a couple of zip liners going by there. Must be good luck to throw a coin down here on the side of the cliffs. The cliffs of insanity! He's trying to do Princess Bride there but just kind of failed. I don't know why I did that gurgling sound. Inconceivable. Wallace Shawn, classic actor. I remember seeing an interview with Wallace Shawn, how he didn't understand why he thought the Vincini, people thought it was a funny, it was a, it was a funny role. He was playing it serious. I don't know. I don't know if Wallace Shawn was kind of just joking about that, but just classic. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. The first is never get involved in a land war in Asia, but only slightly less well known as this. Never go in against a Sicilian. You know the rest. Zebulon M. Pike and his men who traversed through this area in November and December of 1806 were the first American explorers to view the Arkansas River Canyon, known now as the Royal Gorge. I believe there's a little lookout right here, which I didn't notice at first until I saw that signage that you can see over the gorge itself, going off in the distance. This is a good view. So you see the bridge there, and then you see the gorge down there. You see the gondolas going by, and you can also see the gorge this direction. I have successfully crossed the Royal Gorge, both by gondola and by bridge. Excellent.
knock that one off the list. And I hadn't even planned on doing this till a couple days ago. Just Then I just realized what's in the area. There's a gorge here. Love it. Beautiful. Okay, some merchandise here. Kind of yeah. like this yellow shirt right here. Nice. Look at that with the gondola on it. Yeah, I like that one. And from this angle, you can even touch the cable that holds it together. And then over here is another kind of look down area. A little lookout. Oh, you could walk out on it. Look at this. You can walk out. Ooh. Ooh. That's something. Out to the edge. There's an Aerosmith song about living on the edge. Ooh. Yeah. So it looks like there's some remnants of the old Incline Railroad down there still, too. I don't think the Incline Railroad runs anymore. Maybe if it does, I haven't seen it to that. To the side portion of the gorge. Yeah, look at this. This thing. Kind of frightening. Truthfully, kind of frightening. You can see how it just kind of goes out there. I guess it's nothing compared to the actual bridge, but just like seeing it from this angle seems like it's a little more frightening than walking over the, the deepest part of the gorge. It's weird how your mind works that way. And there's another one, a little lookout area on this side. Ooh, look at this. People have carved their name in the side. Ooh, nice breeze up here though. The other side there, across where I just was. This little area here to get you out of the elements, this little wooden vestibule of sorts. Yeah, people have written their names, they've etched themselves in stone, well, not stone, in wood. Over the years, that was dated back to 2018. Right up there's where we started from, right up there. Back over at the parking lot now. Looks like this is also a parking lot shuttle. John Deere parking lot shuttle. Looks like they have the one going across the bridge. They have one takes you to people's cars. Look at that lady was taking a picture of us here in the car, or maybe the view, probably the view. We're in front of a good view. All right, so about a mile or two from where we, well, probably three miles from where we just were, is the history of Point Alta Vista. And Ryan and I wanted to check this place out called Buckskin Joe which was a kind of a theme park attraction that was next to the gorge. But this was used in the trauma film from Trey and Matt from South Park. They did a movie called Campbell the Musical. In fact, I recognize that building from the film. Now all these buildings have been removed from here, a billionaire bottom according to the interwebs. But they used to be right over there. So we're gonna walk over there and see if we can see any relics of Buckskin Joe's. Old attraction, old western town where a really kind of deep cut film. <laughs> I think I like that movie more than South Park, to be honest, which is kind of weird, but. So I was looking at some old historical aerials. So basically the blue dot is where the start of the old Western town began, where they filmed. And he said they, what else are they filming here? The John Wayne movie? True Grit, see a lot of scenes, some scenes from, scenes true, from grit. true Grit, Ryan was saying. But it started here and you can kind of see where the dirt path is on either side. And there are buildings, old western buildings, stretching up. So pretty much kind of right in here is where the old foundations were. And as stated, someone with a lot of money had a move to his private property, not even a something anybody can visit. The old jail, and post office, and the saloon. All from that kind of cult classic film. The old western town was right here. There's a frisbee golf course out here now. Okay, after some guessing and kind of coordinating and looking at some photos and looking at the, the map itself. So down the hill, there was like a hill going that way. Like the old town was right here. So this is where the main, main drag of the town was. Not really a whole heck of a lot left. But we're standing at the spot and there's also a rainstorm coming in. Left mom and dad over at the car with the AC on. So we'll be right back. Kind of went up on this little berm and had to see this. 
It's weird that I've wanted to see this for like many years, <laughs> see where the old West Town used to be. I'm probably like a handful of like maybe 12 people out in there in the world that would even care. But anyway, that's why I tacked it on kind of later in the video, in the episode, as we're leaving the, the gorge. When was the last time somebody played frisbee golf out here? What if Trey and Matt walked out where I come out here and play frisbee golf? They seem like frisbee golf guys. And you're wearing the Casa Bonita shirt. Oh yeah. We were there yesterday. They started Casa, they uh, put the money into Casa Bonita and they also made a movie that only about 87 people have seen. <laughs> and who Cannibal knew we were going to find a location? Yeah, the weirdest location ever, right here. Right next to the gorge. In fact, you can see part of the gorge off way over there. So when you visit the gorge, visit the second popular tourist spot, <laughs> the old West Town, right over here, where it was. And before the storm rolled in, the sky, well, parts of the sky is blue and all the leaves are green. These are. The air's as pure as a baked potato. I think you know precisely what I mean when I say it's a spadoinkle day and stormy. Fox. Will they film Cat by You here? Yep. Or Cat Baloo? Whatever. Cat Baloo. And is. Duchess and the Dirtwater Fox. Nothing about a musical through here, though, too. That's, I don't know, I'm surprised that's not like a point of interest. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so cool though. I can just picture the movie. They use this a lot. The sheriff's office and the jail and all that. That is cool. Glad I got to see that. I mean, there was not much to see, but something I've wanted to see for a while, so. Taking a quick little drive through downtown Canyon City. Oh, the wind is blowing and dust is coming in the car. Over here, check out this. This old store. That is great. Old palace drugs. Got the mural there. Canyon City, Colorado with the bike on it in the mountains. There's a decorating center. Owned by Slim Shady. Opening soon. Got the marquee there. The Skyline Theater with a sweet neon marquee there. Pretty awesome. The dinosaur on the corner, on the corner of Main and Second. Got like postcards attached to his body. Stamps. Stamps on the body. And if you go into the gorge, you need a place to stay right here in downtown Canyon City. You got the Pioneer Motel. I didn't even notice this until my sister showed. Skyline Court has some vacancy too. I don't know if that's actually still a motel though. Old Mose welcomes you to Kansas. Can is that the name of the bear? King of the Grizzlies. Or Old Mose. Old Mose. King of the Grizzlies. That's the King of the Grizzlies right there. And in the parking lot of this liquor store is a big boy. Right there with that RV driving by. Big boy is trying to catch a ride but they're not stopping. I'm not sure if that's a Frisher's big boy or a Bob's big boy or just a random big boy, but it is the big boy mascot. Try to need a liquor sign. All right, back over in Pueblo now, and that's going to do it for today. It was a fun day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. is over.